Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the discriminant of a quadratic equation when you have 7n squared minus 8n plus 5 equals negative 5. So the first thing we actually need to do is put this in quadratic form. So quadratic form would be a, a n squared plus b n plus c equals 0. And that's really important. We want to make sure before we even find the discriminant that we have these a, b, and c. And that means we have to have it set equal to 0. We can't have it at equal to any other number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 to the other side. So I have 7n squared minus 8n plus 10 equals 0. And now remember, what we're going to do is the discriminant comes from the quadratic formula. So I'm going to set this up just like I do the quadratic formula. And when I take the square root, the number that's inside that square root is going to be my discriminant that's going to tell me kind of the behavior of the solution that I'm going to be looking for. So the square root in the quadratic formula says b squared, which is negative 8, minus 4 times a times c, which is 10. So I need to go ahead and take a look at this and see what my answer is going to be. So I have uh, 8 squared, which is going to be 64, minus negative uh, 4 times 2, which is going to be uh, 28 times 10, so it be 280. And what I notice here is I get negative 216. So what is that going to tell us? Well, we know we can't take the square root of a negative number. Let me just show you. Let's take the square root of negative 4. We know that the square root of 4 is equal to plus or minus 2 because 2, plus two times 2 is 4 and negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. However, there's no two numbers that are exactly the same that you can multiply to give you negative 4. So what we bring in is an I, or the imaginary number system. And I'm not going to be concerned about talking about that today. But all I want to do is just say, well, if you've taken the square root of a negative number, you know, first of all, you're always going to have a plus and a minus. So you're going to have 2. But instead of being real, or, ra or rational, or irrational, you're going to have two imaginary solutions. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how uh, you find the discriminant of a quadratic. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.